Previously on ETFW. On our last episode, Brendan and I took you for an adventure to the central coast of New South Wales. There we explored and investigated one of Australia's most well-known ghost stories, the ghost of the Jenny Dixon Beach. On that episode, we filled you in on the history and also attempted to make contact with any spirits who linger on this beach. Should you wish to see that episode, there will be a card on the top of the screen which will take you to it. On this episode, we venture only a few kilometres away from the Jenny Dixon Beach to investigate and explore another local legend, the ghost of Wilfred Barrett Drive. In this episode, we will take you to the Norahead Cemetery and also the Wilfred Barrett Drive in attempts to unearth evidence on this mysterious and extremely sad ghost story. This is ETFW. Follow us as we explore. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Ricky. This is Brennan. Together we're ETFW and tonight we're picking up part two of the Jenny Dixon Beach ghost hunt. Now, as you guys saw in the last episode, we left you guys down at Jenny Dixon Beach. Nothing really kind of happened. It was really kind of lackluster in our opinion. But right now, tonight what we're going to be doing is investigating the story of the Wilfred Barrett Drive ghost. Both ghosts and both stories somewhat intertwined with each other. And where we are right now is the Norahead Cemetery. Sightings of both the apparitions in the Jenny Dixon Beach and Wilfred Barrett Drive spirit have been known to be seen around here. So... This place definitely is creepy. We've been here before. Both stories kind of coalesce at this place and we do know for a fact that one of the supposed spirits, their bodies are buried here oh, as well. Did you hear that? Yeah. Like something just sweep past. Me, we're only on the intro. <laughs> oh, let's get this on. Funny story quickly before we get into the video. We've both been reading Ed and Lorraine Warren books and I'm trying to G ourselves up for these videos. And when we got out, no joke, like my legs were shaking in the cemetery, like freaking proper creeping out. As I was saying, uh, both stories, both hauntings, I guess you could say, coalesce at this place. And we do know for a fact that at least one of the bodies of the supposed spirits are also buried here that we found out last time we were here. But before we jump into this episode, we are gonna take you guys down Wilfred Barrett Drive first, which is where, you know, a popular spot where one of the spirits is known to be seen. So if you guys do enjoy this video throughout any time, don't forget, drop it a like, comment down below, let us know your thoughts. And if you are new here, as always guys, consider hitting the big red button like this. I mean, we don't like to hang out and haunt. Hit it like this. Oh, oh <laughs> my <laughs> goodness, man. Dude, you're on edge. Yeah, I'm creeping out, man. These Ed and Lorraine Warren books have freaked me out. Guys, hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy the videos. With that said, we don't want to spend too long in this graveyard because no joke, we're proper creeping out. But we're going to go off until we capture Still. me. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Before I begin this story, I would just like to make note that there are multiple versions told of this particular case. I have tried to as accurately as I could reconstruct this story as close to the true events possible. Stories of phantom hitchhikers echo throughout the world. These stories are all with striking similarities. Drivers travelling down mysterious roads, usually in the dead of night, and spotting those in need of a ride, most of the time in the most unusual of locations. As these stories go, as soon as these phantom hitchhikers are picked up, they are gone. Our story is not much different. The year was 1970. A beautiful young lady was casually making her way back home, travelling down Wilfred Barrett Drive, located in the central coast of New South Wales. The road is rather long and dark, flanked by the trees of the Yurrabalong National Park. The lady of our story, whose name is shrouded in darkness, was travelling this stretch of road heading towards Noraville. Tired of walking, she lifted her thumb to an oncoming car in hopes of a friendly lift. As the car slowed to a stop and pulled over, the young girl peered inside and noticed five young males. All the occupants of the car seemed jovial and fun, and at a glance seemed safe enough to hitch a short ride with. 
She made her way inside the vehicle and off they went. It was soon into the trip the young girl began to feel uncomfortable. The young men making remarks of her beauty and talking amongst each other what they would like to do to her. The young girl demanded many times to leave, though she never would. Against her wishes, they drove her to the nearby Jenny Dixon beach and there, against her will, she was sexually assaulted, beaten and left to die in a nearby scrub. The young girl was eventually stumbled across, laying there, undressed and in horrible shape. An ambulance was called and police attended the scene, although the girl did not survive. Police were not able to get a clear description of the girl's attackers before her last few breaths were taken from her body. The police had their suspicions on who the culprits may be, and five men were rounded up and questioned. The police, almost positive that these men had committed the atrocities that took this young girl's life, were ready to press charges. Although, lack of evidence set them free. Within the years following their releases, a series of strange accidents and suicides saw the group of five friends all die in fairly grisly and mysterious ways. Three of the five men all perished in individual car wrecks, one at a time. One hung himself after reportedly telling friends that he was haunted by the spirit of a young girl. And the last committed suicide by shooting himself in the head with a shotgun. All young men reported to their family and amongst each other the constant haunting of the girl they raped and killed. Over the last 50 years, people have reported seeing a young girl standing on the side of the road when traveling down Wilfred Barrett Drive. Sometimes the sight of her has caused people to swerve and almost crash, and other times people have stopped to pick her up, only to have her disappear once they reach the Norad Cemetery. Even local police have reported on seeing this strange apparition. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna make our way down Wilfred Barrett Drive right now. Well, as you guys have already seen in the history, basically the spirit that hangs around this cemetery is that of a girl who was raped, murdered, and killed along this very road. Now, as the story kind of goes, and again, this is a story because this part of it can't be corroborated with anyone because it is there was no one there at the time of her death. But basically her last dying words were that she would take vengeance on every one of the males that was involved in her death. Now, the funny part about the story is that, you know, as again, you guys have already heard this, but every single one of those males suffered in their own sort of way. They all suffered in, 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 in a way where some committed suicide, some went mentally insane, and it's a bit of a coincidence. You've kind of got, you know, four people, four males, however many it was, I think three or four males, and have each and every single one of them have something traumatic and, and crazy happen to them like that, it's just... Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, you know what I mean? But, like I said, we're on Wilford Barrett Drive right now. What I'll do, we're gonna pop Powerless on, see if we pick up on anything on the way down and back. So, with that said, <laughs> if there is any spirits here along the Wilford Barrett Drive with us, are you able to make yourself known? Are you able to reveal yourself to us in any way? My name is Ricky, I'm here with my friend Brendan. We don't mean any harm. We don't mean to intrude on you at all. Just like to know your story, like to share it with the people, like to find out more about you if we can, and if possible, help you pass that may reside along this road right here, along Wilfred Barrett Drive. If there is anyone here, please feel free to communicate to the device we have going in the car. Feel free to speak through it. Let us know you're with us. Again, we understand the story, and it was males that were involved in your death. You have nothing to fear from us to. We just want to know Seeds. your story. Seeds. Thank you for communicating with us. Thank you for attempting to communicate. If you would like to speak to us, are you able to give us a clear yes or no sign? Are you able to tell us your name or perhaps introduce yourself to us? So quiet. Yeah, man. Like to have Powerless this quiet, that's. That is a reason Minister. why. It, Minister. Minister. That is a what? That's a reason why I kind of like this app. 
Yeah, because it's not. It's because not, it's not always active. Yeah, it's you not, know, it's not hardcore like uh, you know, like necrophonic. It's just for example. doesn't shut up. If we are joined by any spirits that reside here on the Wolf Barrett Drive again, be able to make yourself known to us in any way. Inside. Inside. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that actually creeped me out. Are you inside the car with us right now? Are you perhaps behind us or I don't know, sitting on top of us? Did you know the story says that she appears oh, in yeah, the car? Does. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have to tell her to get out Bro, otherwise she I'm takes like, control of the car. I'm like creeping. Are you inside the car with us? Are you in here with us? Are you sitting Emulate. behind? Emulate. Emulate. Are you here with us inside the car? Feel free to give us a sign if you are. Give us a yes or no perhaps. Are you joining us for a ride along? Have you decided that you feel comfortable enough to speak to us? Seek. 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 That's correct, we are. We are searching for you tonight. We are here to possibly seek out your story to find out more about you, perhaps. Again, to the spirit that we're communicating to, be able to give us any more answers as to if you're here with us in the car. Maybe a, a clear yes or no. Perhaps tell us your name if you can. Nod. 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 I thought I said not. Or not? Well, hang on. Not, uh, a nod can mean yes. Yeah, that's a yes. True, true. Is that a yes? Is that you saying that you are here in this car? That you are here with us right now? That you would like to communicate? You're more than welcome to leave us whenever you like as well. You don't have to feel trapped device. here. Device. Well, she's saying she's communicating. That's correct. We do have some. We do have multiple devices going in the car. We have multiple cameras recording right now. You have nothing to fear from them. They won't mean you any harm. But you can as well, if you are feeling weak, you can take power from any of these devices, from my from my device down by my leg, the device Brendan's holding, or from the device on the window here. If you need to, you're able to take power from any of them. Are you perhaps curious about the devices? Are you perhaps scared on what they do? Is that why you're asking about them? Seven. Seven. Seven? What the hell was seven? Dude, man? like there could be like seven devices within the car. <laughs> Dude, that, that actually adds up. Like that that legit adds up to seven like cameras yeah. and seven devices in the car. Holy We do know that the unfortunate night that you passed away was many, many years ago. Some of these devices may look new to you and they might look different to you. Perhaps you've never seen any of them before. Are you perhaps Battery. quite... Battery. Battery! Bro. Oh, we went, we went. That, is, that is actually like specific. Yeah. That's correct. You're able to draw power from any of the batteries. David. Uh, David, there! Dude, we got David two times beach. tonight. Are we communing with us? Are we communicating with a spirit called David by any chance? Or maybe we're communicating with the same spirit that we were communicating down on the beach. Maybe they're both with us. Oh, be a good Is way. your name David? It'd be a good way if we, if we knew the name names of the I guys know. that did what they did to her. Imagine if one of them was David. Are you able to shed a little bit more light on David? It's the second time that we've had this name appear on our device tonight are we joined by a spirit called david or are you trying to alert us or talk to us about a spirit called david by any chance are you able to clarify any of that for us i don't know what david means you've had it twice tonight yeah jacob jacob dude that's two guys that's two names. names i mean was it four three or four Are you remembering the names of the gentlemen who... Induce. Induce? Induce. Boy, yeah, but maybe she was an induced coma? After it? Because they... 
Are they the only names that you remember? Are they perhaps the names of the gentlemen that... And before I do say it, we... We obviously feel bad for what happened to you and... We obviously don't want to talk about it as much as we can, but... For this purpose, are these the names of the gentlemen who raped and killed you? Are they the only names that you perhaps remember? Is Jacob and David... Were they both involved in your death? Maybe the ringleaders, the ones that kind of started it. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Trying to think if any other devices have come along. She said seven out of nine. News. News. Was it? Maybe it was. Maybe she's saying it was on the news. Oh, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It happened in the seventies or the sixties. Because what I'm saying... It was exactly like a hundred years after the Janet Dixon schooner crashed. And I believe that crashed in 1850. So I'm pretty sure this happened in 1950. Again, to the spirit we're communicating to, be able to give us any other clear signs on who you are. Again, are we speaking to the lady, to the girl who was killed along this road? Is that you? Or are you another spirit? It's perfectly okay if you are another spirit. But more than happy to... Snow. Makes no sense, that one. Maybe the sand? She thought it was snow? Because her yeah. body was left on the beach. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's actually a good point. If she was like, as you say, induced, maybe as you mentioned, like a coma or something, maybe she could still sort of... Her senses could still... I don't know. I don't know what it's like in a coma, but I... I, I your case apparently is you good can as still mine. hear. Yeah. Apparently you can still somewhat like know what's going on around you. Yeah. Are we talking to a female spirit or a male spirit? Record. Record. Yeah, we're recording. That's correct. On our cameras right now. I'm gonna have the cameras on for the majority of the night tonight. If that's okay with you, you'll be able to share your story with a lot of people. Perhaps people have misunderstood you along this road. Perhaps people have thought of you to be something dangerous or malevolent, but perhaps, perhaps it's quite different. Perhaps you're quite Four. peaceful. Four. That's going to be on. Maybe she's talking about... Hang on. Wait. It, it said seven before and then nine while we were going that way. And now it's saying four. If it was four, back this four way. people that did, you know, like, pretty sure the story was four people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. God. 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 Four got, four people got you? Is that what you're trying to say? That there were four people who got you? Did it happen along this part of the road, perhaps? Along this part of Wilfred Barrett Drive? Angela. Angela. Angela, was that her name, maybe? Angela, is that your name? Are you comfortable enough to tell us your name now? We were asking before. Mike. Mike. We just passed across on the side of the road. Yeah, just saw that. Science. Science. I have no idea what that one can be. No idea. Angela, are we correct? Are we able to call you Angela? Is that is that your name? If it is, you can just give us a simple yes or no. Perhaps make a noise whisper anything to us make a knocking noise make a tapping noise or something grow grow never had the chance to grow yeah maybe yeah uh, well she was quite young when it happened she was like 15 or yeah, something maybe maybe she's meaning like she was still growing up is that what you're saying that what these four gentlemen did to you when they took you when you were perhaps Ethan, Ethan, that's a third name That's a now. third guy's name. That's a third guy. So where do we get David? David. I can't remember the second one. Neither can I. And then Ethan. I mean, the camera will remember it. Are you able to give us the last gentleman's name? Fear. 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 You have nothing to be scared of us. Or maybe, maybe she felt fear at the time, she was saying. Yeah. Those names give her fear, maybe? Is that what you're saying? 
that those names still induce fear? Oh. Are you saying that those names induce fear for you? When they got you while she was riding in time. Entire, yeah, you're entirely correct. Dude. You know what they say? They say that, like, if she does appear in your car, she leaves when you get to the cemetery. Yeah. You know what's going to be interesting? If this kind of shuts up, if we, Paralys kind of just stops. Well, you know what? Yeah, but no one usually goes, to, like, drives that to the cemetery. Maybe the reason she leaves when she gets to the cemetery is because she's buried here and she's getting out of the car to return to yeah. her grave. Like, if this doesn't say, say anything else, you know what I mean? Like, if Paralys doesn't make any other noises or anything. Aiden! Aiden. Aiden that's a false name! And it's right as we get here. Like, right as we're about to stop using it and get out. Dude, that's Actually, f- Gave us four different guys' names. Like, legit. F- Dude, my eyes, man. I just, like, the reflection of, like, one of those stones looked like someone, dude. Oracle. Oracle? What the hell could Oracle mean? If we get out to the car... Cove. Cove. Well, the beach is a cove. The beach is a cove. If we get out of the car right now and we head towards where we believe a grave sits that is entwined with one of the stories from either yourself or the lady from the Janet Dixon schooner, are you, are you going to continue to communicate with us if we go there? Or are you going to stop communicating with us? Is the grave that we have in mind, is that perhaps your grave? 80. 80. Do you think that, you know, our cemeteries list and they number, do you think there's a possibility that there could be a grave that's marked as like 80 through here? That, well, she's saying she would have been 80 years old now. Does that add up? If it was 1950... Yeah, I mean, she'd be 10, though. Oh, no. Well, if she was 15 yeah. years old, then... Scott. Another... Oh, Scott. No, yeah, but that's that's Scott as in, like, the spelling of the country, Scott. That's yeah. not Scott of a name, though. She was 15 years old. 50 years to 2000, she would have been 65. 2000 and... She would have been like 75 years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 76 like, like, years old. But she would have been close to lady. 50. 50. 1950. And I just said if it was 50 years. Maybe we take the prior this up and walk over and see what. Yeah. Like just let's just walk over with the with it running just to see what kind of. And see what we get when we get to that grave. Yeah. Like we just we just take the phone and the yeah, app and yeah. just walk like. Yeah. Yeah. Felt like a knock. No, I heard like a scream. Like a like a like a. Oh, I thought I heard a knock. Others. Others. <laughs> Bro, that that's creepy. Let's just stop that and let's go out and meet the others and we'll go to the grave and we'll see what happens. Are you saying there's others here with us right now? Are there other spirits here with us, watching us? already locked oh I just unlocked well I mean I don't think locking it's gonna help us oh, no. <laughs> it makes me feel a little better all right guys I reckon we just go up to there just keep it keep it yeah running. guys I think what we do Legion Legion I swear we've had heard, heard that word somewhere before but you know what like a legion is yeah, like, like a lot of people. And you know what Ed and Lorraine Warren said in the graveyard book? That there's a demon in every single graveyard. Yeah, or like... That there is believed like, like to be a demon. demon. worshippers and stuff like that. They come here and commit like... Uh, uh, um, like sacrifices and try and... Sacrificial summon, and summon like demonic... Si- and then they make the ground. So guys, basically... We've been reading... 
<laughs> which like is the best books to read before you're gonna go ghost hunting. <laughs> but we've been reading some Ed and Lorraine Warren books in, in one of their books called Graveyard and in a couple of their other books they say that basically like spirits aren't what are really sort of dangerous. Like it yes was, there are spirits it, it that, was it was ghosts usually hang around the place where they die. Yeah. Apparitions can go anywhere. Behind. Oh f dude. I'm proper freaking out. So am I. <laughs> Look at the hairs of my arm. Basically, what we're getting to is that in Anna Lorraine's Warren's books, they essentially say that, like, the demons are what, like, demons control spirits. Yeah. Or ghosts or apparitions are basically. And in their book, Graveyard, they essentially say that almost, they're pretty much, like, 99% hmm. sure that... Holy. What are we talking about? And we're talking about Anna yeah. Lorraine Warren. And that they basically say that 99% of the time, every graveyard has had some form of demonic activity happen in it. Because whether they have it's, like demon worshippers. Whether it's Satanists them, yeah. or demon worshippers. And they do say that there is a good chance that in every graveyard throughout the world, there could be a demon that would be there. And if this just said legion, as in like there is a legion of spirits. The demon could have control of them. Yellow. I don't f do <laughs> But I'm like creepy the I'm creeping the f out. Maybe yellow because I'm about to piss myself because I'm scared. Dude, I've oh, never been like that freaked out. Talking about that is creepy. Yeah. I don't know I'm scared to stop the camera, like. Let's not stop the camera. Let's, evidence. Just, keep, let's just keep going. This is safety. <laughs> don't stop like, it. Let's just keep it going. Alright guys, you know us, we go towards it. If we hear something, we gotta to go towards it. Let's, do it. Let's go to a grave. <laughs>